Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to our live lesson. How are you guys today? I hope everyone's having a great day. I hope you can hear me. I totally forgot to check my microphone before I started, but I hope you can hear me. Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. Let me know um, which country you're watching from also. And um, we are going to learn um, some common phrasal verbs today. Common phrasal verbs in American English at least. Hello Jabbar, hello Abi, hello Laviang, Mohammed, uh, Nabidad. Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys from India? Welcome. How are you from Colombia? Hello, Andres. From Pakistan. Awesome. So we're going to be looking at some common phrasal verbs, common phrasal verbs. And um, uh, before we get into the lesson, if you guys could um, like the Facebook page, that would help me out a lot or you can go and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, uh, we have quite a lot of subscribers over there. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and yeah, like this lesson, share it with one of your friends who's also learning English and we can get into our lesson. Oh, how is the weather here today? Um, uh, it's uh, kind of cloudy, but it's better than yesterday. And yes, I know I wasn't able to post on YouTube last night. Um, and I don't know why YouTube had an error. I got like an error message. So I hope that it works today. <laughs> um, yeah. So don't worry. I have, I have lessons planned. Um, I just hope that uh, no more errors on YouTube. Okay. So uh, let's see. I'm going to share my screen, which I totally forgot to do before. Four. Okay, share screen. Uh, let's see. We have this ready. Okay, so can everyone see this? We have a common phrasal verbs, common phrasal verbs. So we're gonna go over, I have uh, four of them for you. So the first one is ask around. Ask around. Does anyone know what ask around means? Have you heard of this one before? Oh, very good. Okay. So ask around. Um, we use this one quite a lot uh, in American, American English, at least. So um, it means to ask many people to tell information about someone or something. So if you want to know something, if you want to get some information, you might ask around. So around is like going to many different people and asking to tell you information. Okay, so here's an example sentence. Uh, the example is, I heard you are asking around about me. I heard you are asking around about me. So this could either be a good thing or a bad thing, right? Um, somebody is asking many people about you. Somebody wants information about you. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Why do they want the information to begin with? Okay. So uh, ask around, to ask around. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. We're gonna have questions at the end. So if you can remember, ask around, ask around. That was the, this is the first one that we're looking at today. Okay, ooh, I saw somebody says they love phrasal verbs. Awesome, thank you. Okay, uh, let's see, uh, hold on. We can't see the sentences because of subtitles. So I think the subtitles are automatic. So I think you can go to the setting, maybe on the video and turn off the subtitles. Okay. So next one, act out, act out. Has anyone heard this one before? So there are several meanings for the phrasal verb act out. However, we're going to look at one that is um, specifically used in the US, okay? Act out. So 
Act out means behave badly, especially when unhappy or stressed. Okay, so act out. To act out means behaving badly. Okay, let's take a look at my example. Uh, she started to act out, so she started to behave badly when she found out her parents were getting divorced. Okay, so uh, maybe this is a, a little girl and she just found out that her parents are getting divorced. So maybe she started to act out. Um, she started to behave in a bad way. So maybe uh, she's acting out because she is stressed or she's really unhappy, she's sad, she's angry because her parents are getting divorced, divorced. Okay, so that's very stressful, right? So kids will act out in that kind of situation. Okay, very good. Uh, then we have the phrasal verb, make it up to. So usually we say, make it up to someone. Make it up to someone. So if you know make up, to make up means uh, that if you had a fight, you make up afterwards. So your relationship gets back on track. You make up. Okay? So this is very similar. Very, very similar. So make it up to someone means to compensate someone for neglen uh, negligent or unfair treatment. So uh, it means that maybe you did something bad to someone, you treated them unfairly, or you didn't give them enough attention when you should have. So in order to um, make them feel better, you will do something for them. So that means make it up to someone. Okay, let me just give you the example really quick. It was wrong of me to do that. How can I make it up to you? So I did something wrong and I want to make you feel better. What can I do? How can I make it up to you? What can I do to make you forgive me or to make you happy again? Okay, very good. All right, so uh, by the way, I saw some questions in the chat. Where are you from? Uh, I am from the United States, uh, but I'm currently living in Tokyo, Japan. Okay, uh, what does unfair mean? Unfair. So, uh, oh, hello. Unfair is the opposite of fair. So if you, if you treat someone unfairly, oops, I'm on here. If you treat someone unfairly, it means that um, uh, even though, uh, I'll give you an example, I'll give you an example. So uh, for, for little kids, little kids like ice cream, I give one person, I give my best friend two scoops of ice cream. And then I give somebody I don't really like one scoop of ice cream. It should be even, right? It should be fair. Two scoops, two scoops, or one scoop, one scoop. But I, I like this person, so I gave them two. I didn't like this person, so I gave them one, right? That is unfair, not balanced, okay? All right, let's look at another one. Catch on, catch on, okay? So catch on also um, has many meanings, but we're gonna focus on one today, okay? We're gonna focus on one. So the meaning of catch on that we're going to look at today is that something uh, becomes popular. So catch on, to catch on means to become popular but we don't use it for people. We don't use it for people, we use it for things. So something becomes popular, okay? So um, I don't know what has caught on recently, 
where you live. Um, but here's my example. Going cashless has really caught on in Japan. So remember the past tense uh, or the past participle of catch is caught. Catch, caught, caught. A lot of people forget that. Okay, so going cashless. So um, until recently in Japan, we had to pay in cash everywhere. So a lot of uh, a lot of restaurants, stores, places like that, grocery stores only accepted cash. But now recently, uh, after <laughs> after the pandemic, um, we have been going cashless in Japan. So using credit cards or cashless apps on our phone, those have become really popular. So going cashless has really caught on in Japan. How about you guys? Uh, is cashless, has cashless caught on in your country? I would love to know. Okay, very good. So that is the example for catch on. I think the next one is going to be questions. Okay, we have some questions. So uh, I hope you remembered all of the ones we just learned. Let's try to do number one together. I don't know what I did wrong, but I'd like to something, something, you. Hmm. So I don't know what I did wrong, but I did something wrong. I don't know what I did wrong, but I'd like to, one of the phrasal verbs we just learned, you. Okay, can anyone remember? Um, I know that we don't have the answers here. Can you remember all of the ones that we learned? Oh, very good. I see a, a good answer. Make it up to you. Very good. Uh, let's see. So very good. The correct answer for number one is make it up to you. Very good. So I don't know what I did wrong, but I'd like to make you happy again. I'd like for you to forgive me. So I'd like to make it up to you. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's try number two. <laughs> and see if there are cheaper hotels in the area. Okay. <laughs> and see if there are cheaper hotels in the area. Very good. Okay. Can you remember what would go for number two? Number two. Okay. <laughs> and see if there are cheaper hotels in the area. Oh, very good, very good. Ah, okay. Oh, this is a good, before we get, I see a lot of correct answers. Before we get to the answer, I want to answer one question. Uh, maybe I'll do it after we answer this one. Okay, so the correct answer is ask around, ask around. So ask around and see if there are cheaper hotels in the area. So go around. Um, it doesn't even have to be physically. Um, you can ask around by calling people. So uh, if you call many hotels, that could also be asking around. So ask around and see if there are cheaper hotels in the area. Um, perhaps that means calling hotels and asking their rates. Okay, I saw a good question about make it up to. What is the difference between make up for and make it up to? Are they the same? So they're very similar. So it's very similar just to make up. Uh, to make up means um, to forgive each other after fighting. Um, and then to make up for, after the for is um, something that you did wrong. I'd like to make up for, oops, I'd like to make up for forgetting your birthday. So after the four is the thing that you did bad, right? 
So make up for something wrong and make it up to the person. Oops, make it up to the person. Okay, very good. I hope that was understandable. Okay, so, okay, let's go back to the questions. Very good, everyone. Okay, uh, number three, I wonder, I wonder if this new app will ever something. Hmm. Oh, I see Sray has already got it. Very good. I wonder if this new app will ever. Oh, very good, Bron. Oh, good job, everyone. Very good. I wonder if this new app will ever catch on. Catch on. Very good. So catch on, remember, means to become popular. I wonder if this new app will ever become popular. Okay, so remember, we talk about things becoming popular. We can use catch on. Okay, very good. Okay, number four, children tend to something, something when there are problems at home. Ooh, who remembers the last one? Children tend to when there are problems at home. Oh, very good, Sray. Oh, very good. I see lots of correct answers. Osman, very good. Okay. Children tend to act out when there are problems at home. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Children tend to behave poorly or act in a bad way when there are problems at home. So if they are stressed out at home, children will probably act out. Okay. We have two bonus questions, so we're going to reuse two of these. Okay, so we have make it up to, ask around, catch on, and act out. Okay, so number five and six, we'll be reusing two of them. Okay, number five, I'll, mm -hmm, to see if anyone has seen her. Number five, I'll, Mm-hmm, to see if anyone has seen her. Oh, very good. I see some correct answers right away. Good job. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, everyone, good job. I'll ask around to see if anyone has seen her. Perfect. So I will go and ask the neighbors. I will ask uh, her classmates, her teachers. I will ask many people and try to find if anyone has seen her. Okay, very good. Last one, the last one. The teacher said you often mm -hmm, in class. Ooh, the teacher said you often mm -hmm, in class. Which one do you think fits for number six? Hmm. Number six, number six. Which one is the best answer? I'll, no, no, not I'll, that's number five. The teacher said you often mm -hmm, in class. Ooh, I see lots of different ones. I see ask around, act out, catch on, act out. Okay, some of you are correct. Okay, so the only one that makes sense here is act out. The teacher said you often act out in class. So that means the teacher said you often behave poorly in class. So maybe the student is talking out of turn or the student doesn't answer when the teacher asks them a question. They're behaving badly. They're acting out. Okay, so uh, remember, make it up to someone. You want to apologize and do something nice for someone. Ask around means asking many people for information. Catch on means something becomes popular, either um, like a new custom, a practice, 
um, or a thing can become popular. But we don't use catch on for people's popularity. Okay, very good. Okay, does everyone understand? Are there any questions? If you have a question, you can put it on uh, in the chat and I will try and answer it for you. Um, let's see. Wow, I got five. Wow, good job. That's excellent. Nice done, like nicely done. Very good. Okay, so uh, let's see. If you want to make some example sentences, uh, make it up to ask around, catch on, act out, you can leave it in the comments and I'll try and put it on the screen for you. Okay, so I think I can, um, let's see, make myself bigger again. Um, let's see, oh, we have a question. Uh, very good, can I substitute act out to throw a tantrum. Yes, they're very similar. So um, throwing a tantrum sounds uh, like, like when a child gets very upset and they're on the ground crying and screaming, that is a tantrum. But act out can be very similar. Um, usually we use tantrum for young, young children but it's possible to use for adults if they're behaving in that way. Um, but act out is very similar to throwing a tantrum. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Uh, answer my question. What is your question? I don't see it. Okay. Uh, are these verbs formal? So these, uh, these phrasal verbs, I would say, um, yeah, uh, formal in the sense that they are not slang. Uh, you can use them in almost any situation, I think. Let's see, we have make it up to someone, ask around, catch on, act out. Yes, like even um, the words, oh, can you hear that? There's an airplane flying right above me. <laughs> um, for example, the words act out, the, you might find act out in like academic papers about psychology or children's behavior or something like that. Okay, very good. Ah, how did TikTok catch on? So maybe catch up means uh, to um, uh, kind of meet someone that you haven't seen for a while and talk and get the new information. So I think you meant to write catch on. How did TikTok catch on? Yes, do you guys watch or do you guys use TikTok? I haven't, but I, I go on there sometimes. I haven't made any TikToks, okay? Ah, my friend doesn't talk to me. Maybe my friend doesn't talk to me anymore. Maybe you had a fight. Uh, so, I made it up to him in a party. Ah, so I made it up to him. So if you make it up to someone, it means that you do something to make them happy again. So you are doing the action. So if you threw your friend a party, you could say, I made it up to him by throwing a party for him. Very good, okay? Uh, let's see. I will ask around of the people. So when you say ask around, you don't actually need to put uh, the word people. Um, you can if you want to, like I'll ask around uh, to her classmates. I'll ask around to the neighbors if you want to be specific or just general people. You can say, I will ask around uh, about my mother. So the part you have with uh, the people to give me information, that is all included already in ask around. So you could simply say, I will ask around about my mother. Very good. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's wrong? How did someone make it up to you? Keep your chin up. Oh, very good, Tete. When I like your, uh, I like your little cat photo. So cute. I didn't recognize that was you. Okay, what's wrong? Uh, 
So make it up to someone is a positive thing. It's a good thing. You're doing something after an argument. So I did something wrong. I'll make it up to you by uh, buying you dinner. Okay. So what's wrong? Uh, how did someone make it up to you would be like a positive thing. Okay. Keep your chin up. Very good. Let's see. Uh, can you explain to me this word act out, please? Yes, act out just means um, to behave in a bad way. So a way that society doesn't like or um, your parents wouldn't like. So an example of acting out might be yelling at someone, um, not doing your chores, um, maybe uh, insulting people, speaking badly about people. Those are all examples of acting out, okay? We'll do just a few more. Uh, let's see, oops, okay. Uh, the chat just jumped a bit, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yes, during COVID-19, beautiful masks catch on. Yes, very good. Uh, there's a lot of cool masks out there now. That is so true, okay. Uh, very good. Okay, I will just answer one or two more. Oh, this is a good one. Hi, miss. What does the word ask out mean? So to ask out someone means that um, you want to take them on a date. So this is for like romantic relationships. I want to ask that girl out. I want to ask that boy out. He asked me out on a date. So this is for like um, going somewhere um, with the possibility of romance. Okay, excellent. Um, okay, we're going to do one or two more. I keep saying that. When I rent a house, I will ask around to the neighbors in the area. Very good. So usually we'd say I will ask around to the neighbors if it's a specific group of people. I will ask around to the neighbors. Good job. Okay, so um, very good, everybody. Um, we're going to end the lesson here today. Oh my gosh, it's been almost 30 minutes. Okay, so um, yes, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page. They are all under Breeze Practical English. Um, so please go and subscribe, like, and share it with your friends, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I will definitely see you guys very soon, okay? Thank you so much. Bye, everyone.